Hello and welcome to an original. We try this production. Today I'll be showing you a very good library for game maker. No, this is not a library that involves books or anything. What a library can do in game maker is you can add more actions into game maker. You probably, if you watched my previous tutorials, you've probably seen them before. The extra actions that I have. But if you have, I'll show you them anyway, and all of them. So. So I can just go into any object I want. Let's say I want to go into my player object. And as you can see here, I have many more actions than I would normally have. This is thanks to the dude's library gold. Created by the dude, I think his name was. Well, the link for this is... Well, I'll be making a tutorial teaching you how to install a library. And the library we'll be installing is the dude's library gold. So, yeah. I'll just show you some of the features in it. Now the first thing we have, besides these tabs, is colored control objects. Well, these don't really do anything special. They're just control colored. Add some variety. Start of a block and change the color red, orange, green, yellow. And there's more green, blue, and purple, or pink, or whatever that is. But now it starts getting a little more interesting. Now we have our date events, so you can set the time and date, time, and so these are if, these are test day events, so if the day is Sunday, if you want to make your game night and day, or features, depending on the day it is, like in Animal Crossing, you can do that with this library. If the day is Sunday, and you can use this, draw a date, it will draw the system time that's here at the bottom. So if I would set set the time, it would be um draw a twelve hour time, it would say seven forty nine PM. So this this is just an extra library for timing. Uh this isn't going to be included in the library. It's just an extra library for timers and stuff. So it's timer is so yeah. Now here's draw sprite background. Here you can adjust the image alpha. You can set the alpha, which is transparency, test the image alpha, and draw the image alpha, or draw the set alpha for an object. Here they have one of my favorite events, one of my favorite actions, the test sprite action. So if your sprite is sprite black pit player, so let's say my sprite was sprite black player R, a version of him facing the left direction, I could tell it to create a bullet that's going to the right, and if it's sprite black player L, or sprite black player to the left, I can tell it's create a left bullet, so it's pretty cool. And here they have a whole mess more. Draw a current sprite at current position. And they have a lot of actions in this. Background, alpha, uh, background speed, draw background stretch, draw background tiled, Draw background part one. I don't even know what that is. Draw background part two. There's a bunch of draw shapes. Rounded rectangle, triangle, path. And a lot of stuff. And then there's even more commons. You can set organized commons. So you can set it to sprite comments, path comments, sound, whatever. And then we have a control two tab. So instead of having just a control tab, we have a control 2 tab. So here we have mini code. So if, you, so if your code is really short, you can just drag the mini code and just put it here. Like let's say you're saying image speed is 0, you can just put image underscore speed equals 0. And that's it. That's all you have to do for mini code. And here's mini code comment. Global variable. You can set global variables. It'll automatically apply it. So you, all you have to do is type in action. It'll all automatically make it global dot action. It's pretty cool. Test global variable. Draw global variable. Um, local variable operator. I don't even know what that is, but it sounds cool. Global variable operator. Pop-up questions. So display an advanced message. So this is automatically 
fit for customizing your um, message, boring old message boxes. Yeah, show menu so you can create a menu. I might use this one day, just because I feel like it. Uh, here we got test question. So question, check question. So question and answer is whatever. You can input it. So um, if near point, so if you're near a certain object, check collision and um, check object, I think it is. Test existence. Test existence sprite. So any more? Uh, there's more. Uh, oh, my God. Well, we have the move and room tab. It offers some more movement abilities such as reverse. See, um, move outside of object. I don't know what that does. Accelerate of uh, acceleration. So accelerate. You set the speed and it, what step you want it to increase or accelerate. Uh, shake. So you can shake an object. Shake, 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 shake. See. Basic controls. So this automatically sets your basic controls like moving in one action. Here. Yeah. Jump controls. You automatically set all the jump controls in one event, in one action. See, put this in a collision event with the floor. So I'm guessing that handles your floor, your floor properties already. Set the gravity direction. I don't know what this last one is. What is it? Physics. Gosh, this thing has more than I remember. Then yeah. we have enemy health, so it automatically applies. You make an enemy health bar. Test enemy health in the step event. And draw the enemy health. And then we have the time. So it has a built-in timer. I just got the extra timer because it was cool. Time, seconds, clock, one. And we have a whole mess of other things. Room. Change view. Pause. Automatically have a pause button in it. You can pause the game without having to do advanced code. Shake screen. Display the FPS. Don't ask me what that is. Set the room speed. And there's one more tab. Please. Oh, my gosh. Let's see. We have files. Save with an extension. So you can change the extension. So I can save it to RTP or retry this production. Or save files and whatnot. Load extension. So I can load it. Dot RTP. So dot, we try this production and whatnot. Uh, load play program. I don't know what that does. Probably loads and plays. Visible, set an object as visible as an action. Set it as a solid in an action. Let's see, what is this one? Move in an object direction. Move with an object speed. So follow an object at the same speed. Here we have a whole mess of mouse events. Align mouse to grid. Jump to the mouse position. Move towards the mouse. And create object at mouse. Make user. So you can make user accounts. Make an online game. Save a user. Load a user. And enter a password. So passwords and stuff. So test password, basically. So, uh, yeah, that's basically the dude's library gold. I'll be making a tutorial teaching you how to download it. So, so then, this has been an original. We try this production. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe.